Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. I'm here with my co-host Brent Phillips to talk about the films of director and choreographer Charles Walters, all part of our Friday Night Spotlight this month, which we're devoting to Charles Walters' career. Welcome back, Brent. Great. It's great to be here. Good to have you here. Now, this next film is The Barclays of Broadway from 1949. It marked the first appearance in 10 years for the famous dancing duo of Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. But, of course, that wasn't how it was supposed to be. Correct. He just had these two great hits, Good News and Easter Parade, Chuck Walters. And this was also supposed to be a reunion, right, of Judy Garland, Fred Astaire, Robert Alton was going to do the choreography, and Chuck was going to direct it. Absolutely. But what happened? Basically, at this point, Judy was going through some more personal problems, and they just felt it was best to take her off of this picture. And Arthur Freed um, had the brilliant idea of after 10 years of Fred and Ginger not being on screen, right. let's see if we can get Ginger Rogers to come in and, and do this film. And sure enough, she said yes. And for Chuck, this was it, was, it was the answer to a dream. Back in the 1930s when he was on Broadway, he would talk about racing out of every Broadway theater to go see the latest Astaire Rogers picture. Right. So, and there was a lot of them back there. Uh, Keenan Wynn and Gene Kelly and Van Johnson and Stanley Donnan, they would all meet up in the balcony and watch Astaire and Rogers. They were the idols to yeah, have. Yeah, exactly. And so Chuck could not believe when Ginger Rogers said she would do it that he would be directing the two. And he remembered the day that Ginger Rogers came on the set, Fred was rehearsing the Shoes with Wings on number on stage, and she walked down the aisle, went up on the stage, and they hugged, and Chuck just said he started to cry. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was something. Yeah. I mean, they were such an iconic team. Yeah. And everything. And she kind of, you know, she wanted to be an actress, and she got an Academy Award and did very well as an actress. And mm -hmm. it was time to th get them back together again and, and to have them in Technicolor for the first time. For the first time, yeah. exactly. And actually, the Barclays script, basically, it's about uh, this great dance couple, and the actress wants yes. the, 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 the wife That's wants to... That's what's so amazing. Yeah, she wants to go for and Judy be, Garland. Right. But it's actually Ginger Rogers' story. It is. She yeah. wanted to become a dramatic actress, not a musical comedy star. Right. And there it is, right there, in the... Comden and Green script. It's really pretty remarkable that it was written for Judy. Yes. Now, one of the interesting things, I think, is that that had to be tough on her after 10 years of really not dancing or not keeping your body in shape uh, at the bar yes. and all that. Not the bar at the plaza, but the, <laughs> the, the ballet bar. Yes. That she could step in and do these numbers. Yes. Because you know, you have to train like an athlete for that sort of thing. Absolutely. And, and actually, they were able to rework the production schedule so that all of the dances that were being done by Bob Alton and Hermes Pan could be shot at the end of the production. So, mm. therefore, she would have more time to get back in shape as a dancer and to really master these dances. The other thing, and it's the unfortunate thing and the thing that Chuck wasn't happy with, when Judy left Barclays of Broadway, a lot of the Harry Warren, Ira Gershwin score left with her because, I don't know, if they didn't think that Ginger's But she voice, couldn't sing it quite like Judy Exactly, could. exactly. So it became more of them just doing dance numbers. Mm -hmm. And so, so many songs left. And Chuck really felt like without a great score, this film may be a little bit more mediocre. Mm -hmm. And so he was not happy with that. Mm -hmm. But uh, she worked like the Dickens to, mm -hmm. be, to get herself back into shape. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, let's have a look. Fun film. Here from MGM in 1949, also featuring Oscar Levant and Billy Burke. Here's the Barclays of Broadway. Mm -hmm. 